play mute. Um, if y'all want to go ahead and mute, um, we're going to start in standing and just warm up our joints a little bit, and then we'll come to seated. <clears throat> So when you get to standing, just kind of find both your feet on the ground and take a couple little wiggles and fidgets. Maybe you rock your weight a little bit forwards and back or shift the hips side to side. And then kind of settle into the center where you feel your weight evenly distributed. Maybe you let the eyes close and just start to sink into your breath. As you find your breath, you're gonna keep the eyes closed and I want you just to roll the eyeballs around in the head. You might even notice that there's a specific direction you can kind of move them in that feels really nice, almost like a little stretch of the eye muscles. <clears throat> and then let them come back to center. You can open up your eyes and you're gonna put all your weight in your left foot and with the ball of your right foot on the ground, so I've got my heel lifted, we're just gonna start some really gentle circles with that right ankle. So keeping the ball of the foot on the ground, just easing that around and then letting it move in the opposite direction. Maybe kind of feel the way you circle around from the pinky toe all the way to the big toe or vice versa. And then send that right leg out and just point and flex the foot. Give yourself a moment of balance. When you flex the foot, I want you to feel the thigh really activate. So you're kind of warming up the knee muscles and the thigh muscles at the same time. And then start to take some bigger circles with that right ankle. <clears throat> and then we're gonna place that right foot on the mat. Get light on the left foot and just start ball of the foot on the ground and start those little circles kind of rolling from big toe to pinky toe or vice versa. And even with this simple movement, activate the core, feel the pelvic floor lift so that your hips aren't moving as you circle. You've got stability in the middle of the body. Move in both directions. And then we'll pick that left foot up, send it out, activate that thigh and start to point and flex the foot. The right standing leg is strong. And then we're gonna take bigger circles with the left ankle. In both directions. <clears throat> and then place that foot all the way down. Step your feet together, bend your knees a little bit. You can put your hands right on your knees or your shins, and you're just gonna circle the knees, which may feel kind of weird. And then you're gonna take them in the opposite direction. Keep the knees bent and kind of hold here for a second. Squeeze the thighs together and let's inhale, lift up through the arms. Good. On an exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, slowly start to roll up the spine. Keep the knees bent, lift the arms one more time. Exhale, fold. Roll it up. Alive, now it's one more time. Bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Step the feet apart, bend the knees, and let yourself hang here in ragdoll. See if you can shift the weight out of the heels more into the balls of the feet so that it feels like your torso and your neck have a little space to release. And then release the arms, let yourself slowly roll up. We've got the feet about hip width distance apart and you're gonna to start to circle the hips. And then take it in the opposite direction. <clears throat> we'll bring it all the way back to center. Walk the feet a little bit closer together. They can touch or not. And we're going to come back into that squat. And I want you to bring your hands behind the head. Take a deep breath in and lift, lift, lift up through the chest. Squeeze the elbows back behind you and then exhale round. Just like cat cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Good. When you round over, don't be afraid to put a little bit of pressure on the head and kind of curl the chin in. Good. The next time you're lifted, stay there. Straighten the legs. Send the arms out in a T-shape. And now I want you to take the palms and flex right at the wrist. Zip up through the belly and kind of pull the fingertips back as if they could touch behind you. Make sure the arms stay right in line with the shoulders. Belly's firm. Maybe you close the eyes and just settle into the breath here. Imagine it moving through the chest or on the shoulders and the collarbone. One more full breath. We'll take the arms behind the back. See if you can interlock the fingers together. If not, grab, grab opposite wrists or elbows. If you've got the hands interlocked, roll the shoulders open and then press all the way down and away from your upper body. From here, drop the chin towards the chest and see how it feels to just gently roll left ear to left shoulder and then bring it back through center, right ear to right shoulder. Good, a couple more just like that. And then whatever side you come to next, you're going to hold there. Keep pressing through the knuckles down and away.
Take it to the other side. And bring it all the way back through center up to neutral. Release the hands and then just take a few big swings with the arms. <clears throat> We're going to come back to that center place. We'll sweep the arms overhead. Go ahead and interlock the fingers again. And I want you to reach all the way up and then over to one side. Doesn't matter which one. And then bring it through center and take it in the other direction. And bring it all the way back through center and extend the arms down. We're going to grab the strap. <clears throat> now you can do this one seated or standing, totally up to you. But we're going to take that wide grip and move through some shoulder cycles here. So we have a pretty wide grip. Mine is just outside of the thighs. And I'm going to lift up maybe on the inhale. And then I'm going to take it all the way back. And I had to slide my hands out to make that work. So take as wide a grip as you need to. Now I want you to be easy with your shoulders here and focus on that sensation in your chest. When you get right behind the head, that's where a lot of the neck tension begins. In this next round, I want you to find that spot where you feel a lot of sensation. You might bring the hands a little closer together. For me, it's right behind my head. This is where I feel the most of it. And I want you to hold here, really press out through the knuckles, grow long and breathe. Right. slowly start to release it down. You can drop the strap. I want you to give yourself a big hug. Drop the chin towards the chest and you might even round a little bit through the back. And then switch the direction of the arms. And bring it up to standing. Good. Now go ahead and find your comfortable seat. <clears throat> Wherever that is for you. And when you get there, let's just take a few um, head and neck circles. So drop the chin towards the chest. And just nice and easy all the way around. And then opposite direction. Back 
back to center and just a few shoulder circles. Maybe you over exaggerate it, take them together or one at a time. Move in both directions. Let the shoulders relax down. <clears throat> Take the right hand and I want the palm facing forward, fingertips down. Left hand is gonna come there and we're just gonna press through the heel of the hand as we pull the fingertips back. Release that grip, roll out the right wrist. And then change sides, left arm extends, use the right hand to pull those fingertips back. Good, release the grip, roll up the wrist. And then just relax everything. Close your eyes for a second and just notice your breath, notice your body. We're gonna take the right hand, <clears throat> use the right thumb to close off the right nostril. I want you to take a deep breath in through the left. Use that right ring finger, close off the left nostril and exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Starting to move with your own rhythm. On your next exhale, <clears throat> release both hands. Keep the eyes closed and just settle into that centered breath through both nostrils.
We'll bring the hands together right in front of the heart. Give yourself one last clearing breath. <sighs> and then a little bow to yourself. Namaste. Thank <sighs> you.